Good morning, everyone. Andrew Douglas here in the Action News 5 Digital Desk. It is the holiday season, and it is so much better, as we all know, to give rather than receive. And I want to tell you, in fact, I want, I want Talisa Franklin from WAVN The Trend uh, to tell you an opportunity, a way to give uh, to a poor little 10-year-old girl who's been involved in a traumatic situation. Um, Talisa, Amanda, our producer here was uh, was telling me the story of 10-year-old Renaya West. Uh, my heart goes out to her and her family. Um, can you fill in our, our uh, viewers on what happened? Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Yes, Andrew, this young lady, Renaya, I heard of her story uh, that she was on her way to school. She got struck in by a car. She's had numerous of surgeries, so many broken bones. She's such a fighter. She's such an amazing, resilient little girl from what all her teachers and her colleagues and her students, uh, our fellow students had to say. So I was like, well, I got to do something. What can I do as an individual that's always wanting to help people, uh, help children and seniors? You know, that I tell people I love children and seniors. And it was like, okay, Talisa, what can you do? When they said the kids was writing handwritten notes of uh, get well soon. And I said, ah, mm -mm. we're going to do a little bit better. So I called my film crew. I said, listen, we're going to go to this school, Delta Preparatory School, that is doing amazing service to the, kid, uh, the children over in South Memphis. And I said, we're going to do a video for this young baby so that when times are challenging and times are rough that she can have, you know, most kids keep a smartphone in their hand and we know that she's not mobile right now, that she can see the smiles uh, and the warm wishes for so many of her teachers, her principal tugger and all of her kids that was in her classroom to let her know that we want you to get well soon. Uh, we love you. And I never met the young lady, but I just had an opportunity uh, just to do this. And then when I heard her mom's story that when little fourth grader Renaya got hit by that car, mom had to stop working for 24 hour care for her daughter. And as a mom, I couldn't imagine having to stop what I'm having to do uh, to provide for my son just to because my son has became sick. And so what I'm asking on today, Andrew, and to everybody that's listening to the sound of my voice, can we help the mom and little Renaya have an amazing holiday? Because I can only imagine the stress that the mom is under right now, knowing that she cannot provide for her family financially because she has to provide for little Renaya and all the needs that she need. And so I am challenging Memphis. I am challenging a bluff city. I'm challenging you to listen. This is a story of a fourth grader that's doing the right thing that was on her way to school and got struck in by a car. Her whole life changed. Even her teacher, her educational coach, even said how Renaya was, uh, she was destined to read and she wanted to read on a higher level. And all of this young lady's dreams and aspirations somehow for a moment feel like they're crushed. But I believe our community is going to stand together. And so we're going to help mom get the support she needs so she can better take care of Renaya so Renaya can get her little self back in that classroom, back in the halls of Delta Prep. So there is an extended video uh, for people to really hear the story stories of the of her our principal, her teacher, the city councilwoman that actually called me with the uh with the issue. And I was like, uh-uh, we got to do something better. We got to make 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 this baby something that she can remember. So I am challenging people. I love to give and I just want other people to join with me in giving and being a blessing to Renaya and her family, especially at the holiday season. And so that's what we want to do. We want to be a blessing to a good kid that was doing great things and just something tragic happened. It just paused her for a minute. But we know by the grace of God, she shall bounce back better than ever. And we don't want her to lose any of the learning curves that she's already overcame. Well said, Talisa. In fact, I want to show once again this uh, uh, GoFundMe page right now, Helping Renaya Heal. And that's where anyone can um, go and donate any amount of money, really, uh, to help her as she recovers from this um, devastating uh, accident that happened with several broken bones in her pelvic area, both legs going um, undergoing multiple surgeries as well, a, a rehab that, that could take several months, up to six months 
uh, I'm told. So um, this this is um, allowing the family to um, have funds raised uh, for bills, for expenses, and other items to help Renaya get back uh, to normal on her feet. We know children are so resilient to Lisa, and uh, it would be great uh, to have the community um, step up and, and donate to help her family at this time, for sure. Absolutely. You know, there's so many uh, things in the world that we see the bad, but this is a time for us to rally together for the good, for the future of an, a, an amazing fourth grader. And let's just help her mom, because her mom, most moms, of course, they're working from paycheck to paycheck and sometimes don't even have enough for the next paycheck. And can you only imagine that if you're working from paycheck to paycheck, not to say that she was, I don't know, I just know that she needs some help. She needs some finances. And so what if that now that paycheck that you did have for the next paycheck was not there? And so who's going to pay the rent? Who's going to pay the light bill? Who's going to provide groceries in the house? Uh, the baby, I'm sure, needs some special stuff. And so I just want people uh, in Memphis, in the Bluff City, if you hear this story, please, 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 you see me give back all the time. And now I'm asking you and I'm challenging you to join me in helping another child. I've never even spoken to her, but I just have a kindred uh, a spirit of a mom that I want to help another mom survive and hold this together, knowing that her baby will be all right. Because I can only imagine the days and nights of crying that she's concerned about her child. So it's all it's like all Renaya day for me. Let's make sure we promote, uh, we talk and we so, uh, support and celebrate Renaya. Well, thank you for doing that, Talisa, and God bless you and, and, and your show and everything that you're doing to help Memphis and this community and Renaya. I mean, as a, as a parent to a, a young daughter, I can't imagine what would have happened if she at 10 had this devastating uh, accident. But, um, you know, what we do is, is we help and we pray and we pray that she gets better and, he, and becomes even stronger as a result. Talisa Franklin, really appreciate you each and every day of this year. Um, Merry Christmas. Have a great Merry Christmas, great my Christmas brother. Week. Thank you. Yeah.